Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, oh, actually, there's not much left of the morning. Uh, we are taking care of a brake issue here. Uh, I've got a brake can that is not working, and I've already tried to, uh, well, I've already started work on it, but I'm moving in a little bit of a different direction. And uh, let me show you what we got going on here. Safety first, I've got blocking here on my front tire. I've got blocking there on the uh, bump stop in the frame. I've got my bottle jack there. So I'm not trusting on that, but I just want that to share the load. I also have my rear tire there blocked. So I should be pretty safe. I've had a scare before with the bus moving on me while I'm underneath, and I'm not even going to be underneath all that much, but this is the direction of travel. So what I was first trying to do was I was actually going to try and pull the whole wheel off. I decided against that once I was trying to actually get the, uh, I was trying to figure out where, where in here am I going to support the entirety of the bus, and I just... I don't know, it would have been there. I guess I could have done both sides to be, to lift both ends of the bus up, but I don't know. Uh, the more and more I was thinking about it, I was like, you know what? I can probably get at these two bolts here. One, two, that's what I gotta get at. Hopefully they come off and I've got enough room to get in there. So I'm gonna do that. And then I just gotta take off that airline there. Basically what's happening is the, uh, there's a leak here. Maybe I'll, uh, I think I got some brake air pressure left. Uh, I'll show you real quick. I got the GoPro running, so we'll switch to that camera. Uh, so you could probably hear that on that one. Um, and you probably didn't see that pin move all that much. So there's definitely, there's a leaking diaphragm there. So we're gonna pull that can out and take a look at it. Hoping to replace it, we'll see. Oh, what was that? That's 24 millimeter, but that might. Oh. Turns out there is some metric on this bus, huh? Oh, that's righty tighty. Let's go lefty loosey. Problem with this is you don't get much leverage at all. Just try and hammer it here. All right, my neighbor let me use this. This is going to work a lot better. Or not. Let's try this. Right size. Oh, I've got a really long extension here, or a long uh, airline. I'm wondering. I'm gonna. Uh, let's, Coming out. The compressor's got to recharge. Ah! How about that? Boom. Uh, so the only way this works is when I give it enough I let the compressor have enough pressure and then it busted it loose for me. Ah! 
we go. All right. All right, that's not happening. <laughs> well, I think I got a hammer. So now I'm gonna try and just see if I can turn that pin at all, just to bust it loose. It's like that. The pin itself is seized. Wow. So it must be that pin is basically seized right in there. Oh, and I don't really have a blowtorch. Safety glasses on. Well, I'm, not, I'm nothing if not stubborn. All right, so go with that. Now the question is, does this move? Oh yeah. Now will this come off? Looks like it. You know, I wonder if I. Can. This way. Looks like this is supposed to spin off. Let's try that. It's brass, so hopefully. There we go, that works. Alright, we're in business. We are in business. All right, so I'm no bus grease my, or well, whatever. All right, so I'm gonna put air in here, like this, with this end, and hopefully, hear it leaking? Let's see how much, how hard it pushes. I don't know, it feels like it's pushing pretty hard. I don't know. Well, anyway, I'm gonna go get a new one of these at uh, Napa. I have one there, I'm gonna go pick it up and I'm just gonna bring this just to make sure it's a same fit and all that and then we'll We'll go from there. Well, got the, uh, oh yeah, got the new one here, except in the picture, it showed that it had this piece, which it clearly doesn't. So what I have to do, I have to cut this one to length to match that one, and then uh, I think I got a new one of these clevis pins coming, but I might try and pull that off. We'll see. this out and I already transferred that nut in there that brass oh yeah that's gonna work out all right so one of the things 
I was worried about was whether the slack adjuster was actually working properly, but as you can see here, and now with that moving more, as you can see it closes up down there. Now we don't want that much movement, obviously. I just did this so maybe this talking to YouTube. Alright, so crank that down. How you do how you uh, this is how you adjust your slack adjusters. Alright, all the way down, as you can see, no more slack there. Now we back it off quarter turn. So let's start at the bottom. That's a quarter. And then perfect. So actually, real-time follow-up. Uh, this is the brake installed. I ended up having to order a separate clevis pin through Napa. Uh, they did give me a discount on it, which is nice. Uh, the brake chamber worked great. And uh, you'll learn all about that in an upcoming video.